exhibition presents the photographic and video reveries of seven contemporary artists whose work recalls the tradition of 19th century romantic landscape painting, as well as its legacy in later 19th century photography and 20th century abstract painting. As Mark Stegel said, this project is dedicated to the late scholar and curator Robert Rosenblum, my former colleague at the Guggenheim and my professor. A little more than 30 years ago, he published an influential book called Modern Painting and the Northern Romantic Tradition, which grew out of a series of lectures he gave on the legacy of romanticism as expressed in modern abstract painting. He saw in Friedrich, um, he saw Friedrich in Mondrian and Rothko and Turner in Pollock. It was an, an expansive interpretation and the inspiration for this exhibition which is in itself a sort of essay or proposition. The romantic heritage traced in this show is more that of Friedrich than Turner. It is the elegiac, melancholic aspect of Friedrich rather than the chaotic maelstrom of Turner that is reflected in the awe-inspiring landscapes depicted in True North's contemporary photographic representations. It's Friedrich's poetic stillness the silence, the symmetry, and the vastness of the voids he represented that these contemporary artists work recalls. While today's artists may share some of the motifs of 18th century romanticism, the majestic mountains and glaciers, great expanses of snow and ice, um, the enveloping blue of sea and sky, they are imagined in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. They are products of a different world than the one in which Friedrich lived. Though some of the artists in True North seem to continue the search for the sacred and the secular, for manifestations of a kind of divine mystery in the Earth's environment, the landscapes of others are inextricable from the realities of modern daily life. And their critiques of the impact of contemporary economics and politics on those landscapes are both subtle and sharp. Many of the images in True North are unimaginable without the innovations of abstract painting from the early 20th century through minimalism of the 1960s and 70s. That the color photography and video projections in this show are able to take on the scale and tonality of abstract expressionist and monochrome minimalist painting is a very recent innovation. All of the work in the show was made after 1995 and many pieces couldn't have been realized very many years before then. The designation True North is a geographer's term for the difference between the North Pole and the mag and magnetic north of the compass. In other words, it's a concept invented by humans to define a relationship to a place that is in a way imaginary. In fact, what is north in our minds is relative to where we are. So for example, while the Netherlands is south of the Arctic and might feel southern to someone from Iceland, it's northern to someone from Rome. Glenn Gould, the innovative pianist from Canada, spoke about the idea of North, and that's the subject of this exhibition. The North has always been and continues to be a blank screen on which to project fears and dreams. Significantly, the North seems to be an almost constant presence in the news, with reports of global warming, the melting and disappearing ice caps, and expanding and contested sea routes in almost daily occurrence. Quite a few contemporary artists, many more than are in this exhibition, are examining aspects of the North in our contemporary cultural imagination. In conclusion, I'd like to thank all of the seven artists whose work is in the exhibition, Stan Douglas, Oliver Eliasson, Elgar Esser, Thomas Fleckner, Ronnie Horn, Arne Linka, and Mark Graf. Most of them 